Ờ. As we come to you live from the Ontario Soccer Center field house. Getting set for this opening match here, it's the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Launched in 2014 with the 2001 age group, the OPDL is Ontario's first and Canada's foremost standards-based youth high-performance league. And it combines top-level competition with comprehensive high-performance training standards. This innovative and exciting youth high-performance program is an important standard bearer on, of the adoption of LTPD principles across soccer at large in Ontario and Canada. OPDL encompasses the U13 to U U17 age categories for both males and females, which are delivered by 30 committed license holders from Windsor in the West all the way to Ottawa in the East. This program has come to be the pace setter and embodiment of a more refined standards-based high-performance development environment benefiting players, coaches, and match officials across Ontario. This weekend marks the long-awaited and hotly contested season finale for the U14, 15, and 17 age groups, as well as the second annual edition of this competition after it was renamed in honor of former Ontario Soccer Director of Soccer Operations, Gary Miller, in 2021. As a friend, mentor, and coach to many generations of Ontario soccer participants, Gary was a pioneer for modernize, for the modernization of soccer in Canada and a staunch advocate for long-term player, coach, and match official development. Nowhere was Gary's influence more critical and impactful than as a member on Ontario Soccer's Technical Advisory Committee, which was developed this which developed the standards for the Ontario Player Development League launched in 2014. We applaud all finalists of the 2022 OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield, who have excelled all season long on and off the pitch and succeeded in the face of adversity to earn a berth at this prestigious event. Good luck to all and best wishes for a tremendous weekend of soccer memories to last you a lifetime. We're getting some of the pre-match ceremonies underway and some dignitaries and special guests in the building today, including Toronto FC, their own Anthony Capitoso. Good to see him in the house again. And on that note, Toronto FC is the official founding premier partner of Ontario Soccer as well as the co-presenting partner for the OPDL, the province's Youth High Performance League. Their commitment to the game in Ontario is unrivaled. Visit torontofc.com for tickets and more. Well, we have a third team in attendance here, and it's the Cambridge squad as they receive their banner for winning the league champions along with the Vaughn captain. And we're just moments away from the opening kickoff in the boys' under-14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. It's going to be Woodbridge SC taking on Vaughn SC. Woodbridge wearing their traditional blue kits, very reminiscent of Serie A squad Sampdoria. Blue across the majority of their kit white and black striping through the front Vaughn will have the white jerseys red trim red shorts white socks with some red striping and we'll step aside for a brief moment as we get set for the national anthems And now, the of the year, the year, the Thank you. 
It's the boys under 14 final at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. It's a packed house here at the Ontario Soccer Center Fieldhouse Stadium. And it's a ruckus crowd. They've brought out the noisemakers. They've got the drums. And they are ready to cheer their respective squads on to a hopeful victory here. As they contest for the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield in the boys under 14 division. The CPL, on behalf of its Ontario member clubs, Forge FC, York United FC, and Atletico Ottawa, are now premier partners of Ontario soccer and co-presenting partners of the Ontario Player Development League. For updates and more info, please go to canpl.ca. And don't forget, today's Gary Miller Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade. Rehydrate replenish and refuel well i tell you both of these squads look primed and ready to run here this morning it's a beautiful morning on sunday october 23rd as we come to you live from vaughan ontario for the 2022 gary miller charity shield finals three matches on the docket here today And this should be quite a final ahead in the boys' under-14 contest. The captains come out to meet the match officials for the coin toss. And we'll tell you the starting keepers for this match. For Vaughn, it's Vince Giuliani Mirabal who gets the start between the sticks. And for Woodbridge, it'll be Justin Marola. Captains, shake hands. Your captain for Woodbridge is Joshua Nicholson. And for Vaughn, Hazem El Markabi. So the teams get set for the opening kickoff, and we prepare to bring you first the three matches here today. As you're tuned in to the Ontario Soccer live stream broadcast of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. We're coming to you live on the Ontario Soccer Twitch channel. Give us a follow, like, subscribe, donate if you so wish, and Heck, you can even clip some of your favorite plays from this weekend. As we saw from our three great matches yesterday, some user-generated highlight clips, and we love to see that sort of engagement. And you got to love the energy here this morning at the Ontario Soccer Center Stadium Fieldhouse. It is a live, live feeling here and it's going to be a tense environment as Vaughn gets set to kick us off they work right to left across your screen with the white kits red shorts white socks and we are underway in the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield Woodbridge running left to right across your screen and they'll try take possession away with Nicholson as I try contend with the percussion section below me and there's a good through ball as Taking the run is El Mokabi. Just lost the phone. Oh my goodness, what a sweet. 30 seconds into this match. And we want strike first. Their captain, Hazem El Mokabi, finds the back of the net. 
And it's one nothing Vaughn! Are you awake on Sunday morning? You are now, that's for sure. What a start! El Markabi for Vaughn. Number 63, their captain, Hazem El Markabi. A quick turnover and a quick strike 30 seconds in. Wow, what a start. It's one nothing, Vaughn. Let's see how Woodbridge respond after that. As they tra track the ball out and Bruni shields it for the throw. Nicholson flicks it back. An attempt partially blocked as they try to flick it forward. And now Woodbridge start to march up the pitch into the attacking third. Vecchiarelli takes it, right-footed cross. Good ball as it was brought down for a moment by Nichiporak, but he couldn't quite corral it for a clean shot. And Vaughn able to clear the pressure out through the midfield as the defender, Cachera, just knocks it out of touch for Woodbridge. Well, let me catch my breath. Are you kidding me? What a start there. On a Sunday morning when the majority are probably still just waking up, El Markabi came ready to play 30 seconds in, he strikes. And now Vaughn have a free kick on the brink of the attacking third. Let's see what they do with this set-piece opportunity. A huge crowd on hand for this match, and my goodness, the Vaughn supporters directly below us are... Banging their drums proudly. Good ball played in. Unable to get an initial head to it as it's flung around the penalty area. The initial service coming in from the foot of Yashia, but in the end, nothing doing for Vaughn. Has a foul committed and, uh, excuse me, an offside and a free kick. Well, actually, no, check that. It, uh, there's a drop ball to restart play and it'll be controlled by the Woodbridge keeper Marola, he plays it out through the center circle as Vaughn looked to take possession and they quickly play it back up the pitch for Elon Yashia as he tries to work his way forward, but that's quickly stripped away. Good one too as Rotondo takes it forward now for Woodbridge. His ball to the brink of the penalty area, knocked away by a defender. And now Vaughn try control as the ball played up for the striker, Yashia. He tries to take on a couple of defenders, but loses it to the touchline, and it's out for a Woodbridge throw-in. Wow. Nate Pora tries to play it forward. Now he gets a second touch for Woodbridge as it's headed on by Sankar. But Woodbridge will track to it first with Staltari on the ball. And it's knocked out for a Vaughn throw-in. Luciani. Contact there on the player receiving from the throw. That was Yasia, and it's a free kick to come now for Vaughn. And this one, a little bit better positioning from the last set piece. So we'll see if they can double their tally, double their lead inside the opening five minutes. Elon Yasia gets set to take the free kick. Delivers to the far post, but over the head of anyone in white. And that tracks out for a goal kick. So Marola prepares to take the goal kick. He'll play it short as it's controlled by Nechporuk. He looks for an option out wide. And now they draw back into the middle for Nicholson. The Woodbridge... Woodbridge captain plays it back to the center back, Cachera, who in turn goes to the keeper, Marola. Looks for an option closer to the half line, unable to track it was Reyna, and that's out for a Vaughn throw. Five minutes in, Vaughn opened the scoring into 30 seconds, just 30 seconds into this match, when El Markabi beat a defender, brought it in, and beat the keeper. As now... Vaughn's keeper, Giuliani Mirabal, gets his first touch of the match, playing it out. And in the end, it's out for a Vaughn throw-in. So they look to generate something towards the half line as it's controlled by, by Shia. As now it's touched over to the far flank, and Amato plays it forward. Quick little touch on. 
as El Markabi thought about advancing it, and now they do have it on the brink of the attacking third. No call there on the contact on the back of Ishia. He wanted the foul, but the referee says play on, and now Woodbridge look to try capitalize on the space. They actually have to go backwards because it got closed down. As Reyna couldn't quite pick out a man, and it's turned over. That time, El Markabi hit down to the ground, but the ball rolls out, and it'll be a throw-in for Vaughn. As they hold possession here, Amato tosses in. El Markabi once again has it knocked away from him, but Vaughn keep possession with the throw. Been a spirited atmosphere here all weekend long for the Gary Miller Charity Shield. This event, unlike any other, really brings out a sense of team pride and club pride. And of course, the love of the game as Nicholson plays the ball across the half line, but dealt with by the defender through the aerial challenge by Rosenberg. And now a foul committed and a free kick here for Woodbridge. Nechaporik plays it short. He gets the ball right back from Kashia as Nechaporik looks for the man out wide. They touch into the middle where it's controlled by Rotundo. Under pressure, he goes back to Nechaporik. Kashera looks for an option up the pitch, sends the ball long, but that's dealt with by the defender, Thompson. Nechaporik gets it back for Woodbridge. Kashera. Takes a slide tackle at the end of that. Didn't like that there was no call. And now he makes a defensive header to knock it over to Nechaporek, who in turn goes back to the keeper, Marola. Marola puts his right foot through the ball and running onto it, trying to keep that in, but just unable to do so was Steven Reyna. However, it was last off of Vaughn player, so Woodbridge keep possession. Throw goes up the line, and it's immediately knocked out there by Justin Amato. And Woodbridge will toss it once again. This time, Seulin on the throw. He picked out the teammate in Reyna, but in doing so, they turned possession over to Vaughn. Strong throw contested by a few Woodbridge players, and Stalteri comes up with it. His through ball knocked down. Good defending that time by Correa Furtado. But now Nicholson tracks it for the team in blue. Woodbridge have possession here with Keelan. He makes the pass forward as now they touch out wide. Trying to hold it in there is Reyna. He catches the ball and now tries to square up the defender. It's off of on player. They'll hold it for a moment before Woodbridge try play it in with Chalen. Keeps it in along the line. Nice effort, but loses it to the goal line and it's out for a goal kick. Really good crowd on hand for this opening match this morning. Certainly the biggest crowd we've had this weekend. I would guess probably somewhere in the vicinity of 700 people right now. As they have packed in around the Ontario Soccer Center Stadium Fieldhouse. And they've been treated to a stunning match so far as Woodbridge trying to capitalize. And a foul called on the brink of the penalty area. So now Woodbridge have a set piece with an opportunity to equalize about 21 yards out, 22 yards out, almost directly centered a goal. The play was made initially by Vecchiarelli, who stepped up and controlled the ball. Actually, it may have been Reyna, excuse me, 9, nine not 19. Reyna stepped up to pick up the loose ball and then was fouled shortly thereafter. And now Woodbridge looking for a strike on target with this free kick. A four-man wall sets up to defend. Right foot through the ball. What a save! Vince Giuliani Mirabal dives down to his right. After a beautifully taken free kick off the foot of Leandro Stalteri. And Stalteri gets bested by the keeper Giuliani Mirabal on that test. Corner kick to come. Stalteri delivers a good cross in. Headed away that time. As uh, Soundcar got to it, Woodbridge trying to keep the pressure on, but losing it to the touchline was Chirimonte, and now Vaughn trying to quick break off the throw-in. 
Nicholson steps in the way of the first attempt, and now Nicholson nearly came away with it. He's still battling, and a foul. Hard to hear the whistle down at field level with all the noise being made by the fans in the stands. But a free kick awarded to Vaughn. Back to the keeper, Giuliani Mirabal. He plays it out to Sankar, looking for an option up the field. El Markabi chests it down, and now it's controlled by a teammate in Yashia. But he can't hold it with Nicholson on his back, and Woodbridge get a clearance. Flag will stay down as it looked like the man up front, Vecchiarelli, might have been offside, but Vaughn continue in possession as El Markabi works it to the half line. Yashia, good little flick on, controlled here by Umansor, but it's quickly stripped away. And now Woodbridge having a cross half through the center circle. Excellent dribbling by Girimonte, but then his pass to nobody in particular. And Thompson controls now for Vaughn. El Markabi, little flick on, but Woodbridge pick it up as it's secured by Rotundo. He looks to switch it up to the near flank. Good header there by the defender from Vaughn. But Woodbridge quickly pounce on it. And now it's picked up by Giramonte. Right foot and cross into the area. Thompson with the initial header. Nicholson tries to bring it down, but that's blocked out. Still on it. Woodbridge are pressing here. And Vaughn able to hold their ground defensively. And now they break out with El Mancabi across the half line. He's already got one in this game. This time he lays it off to Sankar. Drops it over to the near flank. That shot attempt coming from the foot of Umansor got blocked. And Woodbridge able to deal with it as they knock it out for a Vaughn throw in. It's a vibe. Our tech director, uh, Francisco, is loving the music down below us. I see you jamming, buddy. And how can you not help it with all the rhythm and all the action, especially at turf side here, with Umansor dribbling around two defenders before having it. Picked off his foot. Oh, nice flick on here by Vecchiarelli. Tries to take on the defender as he's got a handful there with Rosenberg holding him up. But an advantage played here for Woodbridge. And now tripped up and earning a free kick is Rotundo. So Woodbridge, despite conceding in the opening 30 seconds of this match, here in the last five minutes in particular, they've started to find some confidence and offensive creativity and they've now generated two big set piece opportunities as there's some pushing and shoving in the box between Thompson and Nicholson but nothing doing and it looks like it'll be Staltieri to once again try this free kick four man wall four Vaughn to defend Staltieri right foot into the ball drills in it and that one just dipped wide to the far post it looked like Giuliani Mirabal had the post covered. But two big set-piece free kick opportunities for, Va uh, for Woodbridge. And in both instances, they're unable to capitalize. Despite good kicks from Saltari. Played short from the goal kick. A little more than five minutes remaining in the opening quarter. It's the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. We're playing four 20-minute quarters here. As that ball bounces off the hand of the defender in Nechaporic, uh, and it'll be a free kick here for Vaughn. They keep it short from the free kick. Thompson plays it out to the far flank. As controlling is his Amato, he gets closed down. But support shown in the way of Spaniolo. And that ball off a Woodbridge player out for a Vaughn throw in. Vaughn take the throw looking for an option up the line and it's Immediately hammered high in the air. A nice job by Woodbridge to keep it in along the touchline, but Staltieri unable to bring it down. Now they knock it across half. Thompson trying to shield it out, and he does so for a Vaughn throwing. it. 
So Vaughn looking for options from the throw, headed away. Woodbridge trying to hold possession with Vecchiarelli. Nicholson, he gets the touch over, looking for an overlapping option. And they find one in Giramonte, but he was closed down on his blind side. Giramonte now wrestles it back, draws to his left foot, shoots off the crossbar. What a chance there for Noah Giramonte as Woodbridge nearly equalized on a tremendous individual effort. Giramonte had the keeper beat after dribbling his way through a couple of defenders. Woodbridge pressing the ball back into the penalty area, but Giramonte denied by the woodwork. Woodbridge continued to try secure possession, but Vaughn able to clear it up through midfield. And now a foot race ensues. A little bit of contact there, nothing doing. Nice shot by Ashia to keep it in along the touchline. Now the flag up, and it's out for a Woodbridge throw in. Well, you can feel the intensity here as Nicholson flicks forward. No love lost between these two regional rivals. The clubs just minutes down the road from each other, essentially. Neighboring communities in Bonn and Woodbridge. And, of course, the Ontario Soccer Centre Fieldhouse, where we're coming to you live from, located in Vaughn. That's now Vaughn lo looking for a quick counterattack led by El Markabi. Loses the ball in his own dribble, and it's now controlled by the Woodbridge back line as Kashera played it over to Nechaporik. And now they work it up the touchline, but lose it to the boundary, and it's out for a Vaughn throw in. Ball knocked forward. It's going to be out for another Vaughn possession with a throw. That's our cameraman Paul now jamming along too. It is a vibe here. It's going to be a free kick for Vaughn. Handball called on the play. Nechaporik, that's his second intentional handball. He's got to be cautious there. Vaughn setting up for the set piece. Left-footed cross into the penalty area. And on just wide of target. As getting the touch was Tom Rosenberg. The big center back stepping up for the header. But unable to direct that in. And we've got under two minutes remaining now in the opening quarter. Oh, as a crazy play. I mean, that was just a mental gaffe there. By Nicholson and the keeper, Merola. And they just escaped the pressure being provided by the charging Uman excuse me, Umansor. Wow, that would have been a heartbreaking goal for Vaughn to concede. For Woodbridge to concede. Now Woodbridge are on the attack. As Chiremonte crosses to the far post. Headed down. Volley attempt blocked. Ricochets to the top of the 18 where Vaughn have it. Woodbridge flick on as the shot came from Bruni. It was deflected at the far post, but wide as Rotundo got the final touch to it. You know, I've called a lot of games for Ontario soccer over the years. I've been doing play-by-play -play since 2017-18 for Ontario soccer and have literally called hundreds of games. This is by far the most live atmosphere we've ever had. The only thing that has even come close to this was one of the futsal cups I did a few years back in Aurelia. But this atmosphere, this crowd base, this fan groups from both squads, they have really brought the energy here. How can you not love this this morning at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield? Woodbridge pressing, looking for an equalizer late in the opening quarter, but they lose the ball to the touchline, and it's out for a Vaughn throw in. I mean, this has professional soccer vibes to it right now. This crowd has not stopped with the drumming and the noise making and the cheering and the energy. This is what you get in hostile environments in the pros. And here we are at the end of the first quarter. Of the boys under 14 final in the Gary Miller Charity Shield. It's one nothing Vaughn. Stay tuned. Second quarter action coming up next. It begins with a ball. 
Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. We're here today at the uh, community check-in with our partners from SportCheck and Respect in Sport and having a great time with uh, 35 kids from our community. I'm just here to help out with the kids today while they were playing soccer during their boot camp and learning about everything they were learning about. A core value in sport, which is respect. Understanding respect with players that you're playing against, with your teammates, with your coaches, with the refs, and with the audience is extremely important. Our part in it is the Respect in Sport program for parents. The Respect in Sport parent program, it's a 60 minute program, costs 12 bucks, it's completed online, and it just brings you onto the same page about these issues so that you can contribute to a positive and safe experience for your kids and for the rest of the people alongside you. Parents should attend the respectful play because they're involved in the games too. It's, it's a big part of the game and we need to respect everybody, especially the referees and everybody on the field. If you take the courses, you start to understand that your words have an impact on the players especially. I think all of these community events are just phenomenal opportunities for the children to become a little more acquainted with the true values that they need to have. And as a parent, I've also learned how to be more respectful with regards to other parents on the sidelines, referees, and as well as coaches. Well, my favorite part of today, it was meeting Dwayne. Dwayne, of course, is a legend of the Canadian game. Uh, and he had some uh, great wisdom to uh, impart on the uh, young players. Respect in sport is important because it teaches a lot of aspects of respect. Respect of time, respect of teammates, respect of community, respect for yourself, and respect for your surroundings. And I think sport is a great vehicle to teach respect at all, all aspects, all levels, and no one's ever too old to learn about respect. Respect in sport means sportsmanship, and even when a dirty play or anything gets you down, you can get back up and then just treat the other players like, like nothing happened, basically. Uh, respect means to me is uh, always being nice to people and treat people the way you want to be treated. The respect in sport, Sport Check and Ontario Soccer did a phenomenal job today um, at bringing all of the players and parents um, together to understand a little bit better. You know, if you hit a player down, you come, you pick him back up and, and you have a respectful handshake and you go on and that's how we play. There is something quite magical about heading. All right, soccer fans, welcome back into the loud and energetic Ontario Soccer Center Stadium Fieldhouse for the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield Under 14 Boys Final. And Ontario soccer values fair play, and we share this common passion with our partners from Respect and Sport the leading elite learning platform for the prevention of bullying, abuse, harassment, and discrimination. Learn more about their programs and start your respect education journey today at respectgroupinc.com. As we kick off this second quarter in the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield, we start with Vaughn in the lead one to nothing over Woodbridge and a free kick here for Woodbridge after the foul committed by the goal scorer. El Marikabi. Free kick to be taken and 
the crowd below us starts to drum and cheer their respective squads on. I'm telling you, this is a scene here. Get out here while you still can and support this game and the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Ball played in towards the penalty area, flicked on. As now Woodbridge trying to possess it in tight quarters, but unable to come away with it was Rotundo. And now Vaughn trying to break out of their own half, but that's immediately snuffed out. Good work by Cachera to pick it off. Woodbridge making some substitutions there at the half break as Labile now into the match, but he can't control it for more than a moment as Vaughn had that one forward. Loose ball contested by Umanzor. As Yashia there as well for Vaughn. And now Woodbridge plays to the near touchline, but over the head of Pugliese, and it'll go out for a throw-in. So Vaughn will take possession here with the throw. Immediately headed back by Bruni, and we'll do it all over again. 23rd minute of play. Vaughn won Woodbridge nil. It's the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Throw and taken by Vaughn Luciani. As it's flicked forward before Cachera knocks it with the volley. Woodbridge trying to work here as they nearly supplied the service for Orbeal McQueen. And now Woodbridge have to defend as De Silva tracks back. And under pressure, he knocks it out for a Vaughn throw-in. Ball ricochets around as taking two whacks at it was Kwashi. And on the second one, it went off the hand of a Vaughn player. Actually, no, check that. They're calling to the throw-in. So they take the throw quickly, and once again, it'll be possession to Woodbridge with the throw. Now even Sandy, the PA announcer's jamming along. I'm telling you, man, this is quite the scene here this morning for the Gary Miller Charity Shield. Woodbridge working it on the brink of the attacking third is carrying it forward as Albanese, but quickly stripped off his foot. And Vaughn trying for a quick counterattack. Push supplied there by Yashia. The assistant referee has spotted it. Now the referee gets on the same wavelength, and they call the free kick in favor of Woodbridge. Cachera has to juggle a hotly passed ball, and with a man closing him down, he had to be sure with his decision-making. The keeper, Marola, plays it up the pitch as they start to work their way through midfield. Labile, controlled by Rotundo. Back for Cachera, lays it over to Nichiforic. Nechaporic through the center circle as Labile has it poked off his foot. And now Vaughn looking for a counter is being dragged back. Was Spaniolo. He's still on the ball. Takes the shot. And in the end, an easy save there for the keeper. As wanting the call was, excuse me, it was actually Correa Furtado up there for Vaughn with the chance. 46, not 48. And as a result... A little bit of frustration there for the attacking midfielder, Correa Fort uh, Fortado, but he did generate the good chance. As now Woodbridge trying to press Vaughn into making a mistake, but they advance the ball forward across midfield where it's picked up by Umanzor. Umanzor touch forward. He tries to sell a call, nothing doing. As now Woodbridge try hold possession. Ball ricochets around before Rosenberg steps up to take it. Rosenberg controls for Vaughn, looks for his options, plays a left-footed ball up the line. As Yashia tries to flick back for Umanzor, who gets a bit of a hit in on Kashera. This game's starting to get chippy. And our match officials got to keep an eye on those late hits behind the ball. As Umanzor once again taking a swipe at Kashera. And the crowd now realizing Umanzor taking some cheap shots. He kind of flicks them off. I tell you, Vaughn's coaching staff better keep an eye right now on Anthony Umanzor. He's 
on the brink of taking a foolish booking here. Vaughn have a free kick. They play it to Umanzor. He flicks on with the header. Tries to draw back. Can't hold it on the first touch. Contests again. Knocks it towards the 18. But now it sets up the pitch as Woodbridge and Hawk pursuit with Oriel McQueen running onto it. Oriel taking on three defenders. But Oriel McQueen eventually muscled off the ball. And now it's thrown out by the keeper. Woodbridge, through their back line, play it to the keeper, Marola, who in turn just knocks it out of touch, and it'll be a Vaughn throw-in here in the 27th minute of play. Vaughn trying to work the ball from the throw. They can't quite keep it in. Nice touch that time by Alvinese for Woodbridge as he wins his team a throw-in. Check that. They'll give possession to Vaughn. Just on the attacking side of the half line. Not a lot of movement from this throw in for Vaughn. They'll have to toss as contact on the back of the player. And now it's played forward for Uman Zor. He tries to switch over to the near side wing, our near side, where Sankar was all alone, but never could get the ball to his teammate. Vaughn do keep possession here with the throw-in. As they approach into the attacking third and controlled here, only to have it knocked back out for another Vaughn throw. From the toss, they work it back to the initial thrower in Amato. He tries to advance it forward, but Woodbridge sniff it out defensively, and now Kashera lays it over to his teammate in Nechiporic, but the ball intended for Orbiel McQueen out of play and Vaughn have a throw. Woodbridge, slight touch to knock it out. Vaughn will have another throw in here. That's the play staying tight to the perimeter for the time being. Woodbridge try wrestle it away, and in doing so, they win a free kick on their own side of half. So they look to take it short and quick as Kashera looks for the option, and he uses the outlet in Bruni. Bruni nearly has it poked off his foot. Kashera tries to take on the man, makes the pass as he picked up Bugliese. And now Woodbridge trying to march into the attacking side of half. They retreat. There's a through ball out of the reach of El Maracabi and the ball played out through the half where Umanzor gets an initial touch whip and now it's controlled by Woodbridge. As Rotundo had it for a moment, the pass by Pugliese gets blocked and now Umanzor controls as a nice little return chip sends Umanzor into space, taking it on, shooting from distance. Oh, that's the bar. Just out for a goal kick. How about that confidence? From Anthony Umanzor, as that shot probably for close to 30 yards out and missed by just inches as it went over the keeper off the bar and out of play for a goal kick. 30th minute of action and a chance for us to remind you that Canada Soccer have marked the 50-day countdown to the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 with the introduction of the hashtag we can collective a user generated digital movement that gives fans a voice and role to join our players and team at qatar 2022 a bilingual national campaign under canada soccer's we can signature using the following hashtags hashtag w-e-c-a-n hashtag o-u-i-c-a-n to learn more visit canadasoccer.com well, this is a World Cup-like atmosphere here for this match as the drums have not stopped. Kashera tries to play the ball in for Woodbridge. Headed away, Woodbridge desperate for an equalizer after Vaughn nearly doubled their lead. There's an attempt that gets blocked out. Then Chaporek crosses in. Raymond Mowitney chants, and he just missed that volley. Excuse me, Rotundo in for Woodbridge all alone. Left-footed volley. 
And Christian Rotundo just missing on the attempt to equalize for the Woodbridge Strikers. Rotundo will come out of the match on a substitution here as Nicholson, the captain, will check back in. And Gianluca Pugliese will be the other Woodbridge player subbed out. I'm telling you, there's going to be World Cup matches that don't have this kind of vibe. There's a full percussion section below us. We've got bongos. We've got maracos. We've got shakers. Oh, and we've got a challenge on the Vaughn Keeper. And now we've got a concern with Vince Giuliani Miraval down and in discomfort as Orbeo McQueen supplied the pressure and the contact on the keeper, Giuliani Mirabal, and we hope it's certainly nothing serious for the Vaughn keeper here in the 32nd minute of action. Appeals from the crowd for a card and a yellow card shown as Gabriel Orbeo McQueen goes into the referee's notebook here in the 32nd minute of action. So a good sight to see that Giuliani Miraval will be able to continue on as the Vaughn keeper will be able to shake off the stinger. And a caution shown to the Woodbridge attacker in Orville McQueen. And after that brief moment of injury concern, the drumming section picks right back up. Like, this is, this is amazing. I am so impressed by these two fan bases. I'm telling you, there's going to be World Cup games that don't have this kind of atmosphere. Where can you get it? Right here at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield Finals. It's the boys under 14 final. We're broadcasting live on the Ontario Soccer Twitch live stream channel. Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe, donate if you so wish, and make sure you comment. Let us know who you're cheering on where you're watching from as Woodbridge moved the ball into the attacking side of half and they look to brew something threatening here. Nicholson touches it out wide. Reyna, he's got some space, cuts back into the middle. Nicholson finds the overlap from the defender. Chip forward, that's going to be a free kick as getting clapped there was Bruni. A hard foul on the tackle supplied by Luciani as Bruni... In significant discomfort here, favoring his right leg. But it looks like Bruni will be able to continue on here for Woodbridge. And a yellow card shown to Luciani. So here in the 34th minute, now both teams receiving cautions. One for Woodbridge two minutes ago, now one for Vaughn here in the 34th minute. Free kick to come for Woodbridge. Right now, a two-man wall sets up to defend. A lot of scrum happening around the top of the 18. Right now, Woodbridge, Woodbridge putting six blue jerseys in and around the penalty area looking for a reception on the cross coming in as Dante Lavile gets set to take the free kick here for Woodbridge. Thirty-fifth minute of action. Vaughn leading 1-0. Lavile is set to take the free kick. The drums beat loud. Woodbridge pile in. Good cross in. Knock down. Volley around. Oh, what a save. Huge diving save by Giuliani Mirabal. After the volley came in. Knocked out for a goal kick. The initial strike came from Bruni. Check that, it was actually Reyna, the man in the vicinity. But what a save from Vince Giuliani Mirabal. And that's moments after he got the knock where he was injured just two minutes ago. So a big save there. And good courage shown by Giuliani Mirabal in goal for Vaughn. He's made two really spectacular saves now in this match to keep his team in front. My mind goes back into the first quarter when he made that free kick save on Stalteri, who looked like he had his shot destined for the back of the goal. And now Vaughn looking to reward their keeper with some offensive pursuit. Bit of a knock in the back there of Correa Furtado, but nothing doing. 
and Vaughn maneuver the ball along the far touchline. Woodbridge trying to wrestle it back. Good slide tackle that time as Biondich made the attempt, and now it'll be a throw in to be taken by Amato. We approach the halftime break. We're rolling into the 37th minute of action playing. Four 20-minute quarters here in the boys' under-14 final. And a free kick now for Vaughn. And this one could have implications as it's going to come from about 28 yards out. And a chance for Vaughn to strike here as this is directly center to goal. And they send their striker, Elon Yashia, over top of the ball to take this free kick. A three-man wall sets up defensively for Woodbridge. As Vaughn put six white jerseys lined up across the top of the penalty area and a seventh just on the perimeter. But Yashia looks like he has a nose for the goal here as he steps up to the ball, drills it with the right foot, oh, and just misses. What a free kick. What athleticism shown by the keeper Merola as he flew post to post to cover it. And in the end, Vaughn unable to capitalize on that free kick from a dangerous spot. But good opportunities, good pressure, and a great vibe here in the boys' under-14 final for the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Nice little 1-2 as Woodbridge try working up the line intended for Reyna, but the return pass a little heavy, and then Yashia gets clipped. As Umansor didn't want the advantage, he slowed things down, and now he'll stand over top of the ball for the free kick. He'll actually walk away and leave it for Correa Furtado. As Vaughn will look to play across into the penalty area here. By far the biggest crowd we've had out for a match this weekend. Good ball played into the penalty area. Knock loose as Woodbridge try cleared away. Reyna controls for Woodbridge. They give possession away as Correa Furtado takes it. Nice little touch over to Umansor, but he couldn't control it cleanly. Yashia picks it up. He falls to turf very easily. No call there. As Nicholson looks to spring the man up the field in Corbial McQueen. And now the loose ball tracked down by El Markabi, who's got the only goal in this match. And it came just 30 seconds into this game. El Markabi for Vaughn wrestled off his foot, but the captain keeps possession, and it's a throw in now for the team in white. Xander Luciani tosses in. It's initially volleyed away by Labile for Woodbridge. Possession. Battle ensues as Woodbridge end up coughing it up through the center circle, and it's controlled by Spaniolo. His pass to Yashia, he never could get clean possession. And as we approach the halftime whistle, Woodbridge try to work it out from their own side of half. They chip it ahead. Orbial McQueen touches over to Reyna. He's got an overlap option. Now uses the man in Bruni. Back to Reyna. He's closed down. As Labile tries to dummy it, but Orbial McQueen couldn't quite get to it in time. And Cachera heads it away with the defensive effort. Nice work by Woodbridge as they try crash back for possession. It was Giramonte on the play. And then the eventual pass intended for Orbial McQueen just evaded the striker. As the Vaughn keeper with a strong drop kick. And that's going to go into the attacking third of the opposition, but a good defensive header there by Nechaporic clears any danger. Albanese advances it forward. Nicholson back on the attacking side of half. Labile picks out Reyna with a good pass. Reyna squaring on the defender. Tried the shot from distance, but that got closed down and never found a way through. About to get the indication from the fourth official. I'd anticipate probably about two minutes here, but we'll see how much added time. It looks like it'll just be one potentially. As Vaughn fight for possession, but they commit a foul in doing so. Cody Sankar 
called for the foul. Nicholson takes the free kick. Headed away by a defender as Amato got there. As we anticipate the halftime whistle coming up shortly, maybe one last push here for Woodbridge to try equalize before the break. Header into the penalty area, knocked away, and that'll do it. The whistle sounds, and at the halftime break, Vaughn continued to lead this match one to nothing as you're tuned in to the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Folks, stay tuned. Third half, third quarter action coming up next. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. here today at the uh, community check-in with our partners from SportCheck and Respect in Sport and having a great time with uh, 35 kids from our community. I'm just here to help out with the kids today while they were playing soccer during their boot camp and learning about everything they were learning about. A core value in sport which is respect, understanding respect with players that you're playing against, with your teammates, with your coaches, with the refs and with the audience is extremely important. Our part in it is the Respect in Sport program for parents. The Respect in Sport Parent Program, it's a 60-minute program, costs 12 bucks, it's completed online, and it just brings you onto the same page about these issues so that you can contribute to a positive and safe experience for your kids and for the rest of the people alongside you. Parents should attend the Respectful Play because they're involved in the games too. It's, it's a big part of the game and we need to respect everybody, especially the referees and everybody on the field. If you take the courses, you start to understand that your words have an impact on the players especially. I think all of these community events are just phenomenal opportunities for the children to become a little more acquainted with the true values that they need to have. And as a parent, I've also learned how to be more respectful with regards to other parents on the sidelines, referees, and as well as coaches. Well, my favorite part of today, it was meeting Dwayne. Dwayne, of course, is a legend of the Canadian game. Uh, and he had some uh, great wisdom to uh, impart on the uh, young players. Respect in sport is important because it teaches a lot of aspects of respect. Respect of time, respect of teammates, respect of community, respect for yourself, and respect for your surroundings. And I think sport is a great vehicle to teach respect at all, all aspects, all levels, and no one's ever too old to learn about respect. Respect in sport means sportsmanship, and even when a dirty play or anything gets you down, you can get back up and then just treat the other players like, like nothing happened, basically. Uh, respect means to me is uh, always being nice to people and treat people the way you want to be treated. Respect in sport, Sport Check and Ontario Soccer did a phenomenal job today um, at bringing all of the players and parents um, together to understand a little bit better. You know, if you hit a player down, you come, you pick him back up and, and you have a respectful handshake and you go on and that's how we play. There is something quite magical about heading into a new destination. A journey into the unknown. Not alone, but together as a country, as a sport, ready to soar. 
We are Canada, and this is our sport. This is our time. I'm Lizzie, and I'm 11 years old. I play for Markham FC, and I'm an attacking midfielder. My favorite thing about soccer is learning new tricks and trying them on the field. Today I'm going to be showing you the SRP move. Let's go. Step one is to cross the ball over with your weak foot. Number two, step over the ball with your dominant foot. Step three is to pull the ball back with your weak foot. Step four is to chop the ball behind your weak foot with your dominant foot. And finally, explode with the ball down the field. Now that you know all the steps, try the SRP move for yourself. My proudest soccer moment was when I made the Markham OPDL team. Things are so exciting at the end of the first half, I forgot to mention that today's OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel during halftime, which you know both of these two teams did as we get you set for the third quarter kickoff here in the boys' under-14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. And a big thank you to Ontario's soccer partner, Soccer Express, for their first-class support. As Canada's premier soccer apparel and equipment dealer, Soccer Express has everything needed to take your game to the next level. Visit SoccerX.com for the latest from Nike, Adidas, Admiral, Puma, and more. We begin the third quarter kickoff with Vaughn leading one to nothing here over Woodridge and a free kick awarded now for Vaughn. They open the scoring just 30 seconds into the match on a stunner from Hazamel Markabi. And now they'll look for something from a set piece opportunity. Correa Furtado puts a good cross into the area. And it went, oh, what a save. That might be the save of the weekend there. Justin Marola swats away what should have been a goal. A perfect header knocked on by Kobe Sankar. And he can't believe that Marola floated through the air, hung there for a moment to find gravity and made a phenomenal save. Corner kick to come to the back post. And it went, and that's it. Oh, what a response by the man. Ignacio Sabatasso gets the goal. And 90 seconds into the third quarter, Vaughn double their lead. It's 2-0. Sabatasso gets the goal. Seconds after his teammate was denied. And Marola couldn't do much on that one. Perfectly executed corner kick. Cross to the far post. And Sabatasso knocks it in to give on the 2 nothing lead. Wow, what an unbelievable match. Woodbridge don't respond into the penalty area. Oh, the post. oh my goodness, end-to-end -end action. As a corner kick awarded now for Woodridge. Giremonte, the man with the chance there for Woodridge. He had the keeper beat, but couldn't keep it inside the sticks as it ricocheted off the post and out. Corner kick here for Woodridge. Good cross in. Keeper caught in no man's land, but it was headed away by a defender. And now Umansor takes it up for Vaughn. And he's got mind to streak this all the way up on his own. Umansur lays the ball forward, controlled by El Markabi, trying to make it three. El Markabi shoots off the defender, out for a corner. Blocked that time by Kashera as he stood stride for stride with El Markabi, who was trying to work for the brace. And now Vaughn have themselves a corner kick. 90 seconds after they scored from the exact same corner kick arrangement. Let's see what they do this time. Sabatasso once again at the far post. Good ball delivered to the far post. Keeper Merola just got his fingertips to it as it was defended well there by Woodbridge to knock it out for a throw with Sabatasso trying to shield it for the corner. 
Well, the teams have matched the energy in the venue, that's for sure. Two quick goals, 130 seconds into the match, 190 seconds into the second half. And Vaughn have a 2-0 lead. Woodbridge trying to respond. El Markavi strips the ball away. Look at this fancy footwork. Taking on three defenders. But in the end, they clear the danger. And it's knocked out for a Vaughn throw-in. From the throw, Reyna tries to control it for Woodbridge. Correa Furtado. He volleys that forward. But the Woodbridge keeper, Marola, will easily take control of that. Kashera lays it out wide. Close down. Vaughn trying to turn it over. Vaughn create a turnover and a free kick as Kashera takes a hard slide tackle and he'll be lucky not to get anything more than just the free kick conceded as there's calls for a caution and the way the referee ran over there. You would think maybe that was initially on his mind, but it looks like Kashera is going to escape the caution. And Vaughn will have themselves a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area with a chance to either go on target or play something in from across here. 46 minute of action. Warning there, issue to Kashera, but no caution. Two Vaughn players standing over top of all El Markavi, one of the two. It looks like. Yashia the other. He prepares to take the kick. Right footed ball right in to the back post. My goodness. Sabatasso was right there. He got the touch, but couldn't put it on net. Should have been an easy top and to make him 3 nothing. But Woodbridge escaped there by the slightest of margins. From the goal kick, Bond. Try hold possession, but Reyna comes up with it as he plays the ball up the line, but too far for Rotundo to keep in play. While both TFC and CPL are vital aspirational destinations along the talented pathway, TFC, through its TFC Academy, is a pinnacle club soccer destination for aspiring professional male soccer players in our province. The CPL is Canada's top-tier men's domestic professional league Represented in Ontario by its member clubs, Forge FC, York United FC, and Atletico Ottawa, provides important player development opportunities for over 150 Canadian players, many of whom have come from Ontario. Of course, the CPL semifinal second legs are going down today. Atletico Ottawa and Forge, both representing Ontario, in the final four this CPL season. But here go Woodbridge as they try to claw their way back from now a 2 nothing deficit. And nice run here shown by the defender, Da Silva, as he brought that all the way up before having it stripped away. And it'll go for a Vaughn throw in. Ball knocked around. Woodbridge try hold possession. On the brink of the attacking third, Vaughn trying to clear it. Nicholson comes in, but a foul called against him for that tackle. And Vaughn earned themselves a free kick, taken quickly by Correa Furtado as he switches it over to Amato. Amato tries to pick out Umanzor, but that pass intercepted. As Vecchiarelli, unable to corral it, flicked on, but defended well by Cachera as he knocks it out for the throw-in. It is a jam in here, man. I don't know if we're at a soccer stadium or a club right now, but I am loving this. I think it's a club where a soccer game broke out. It is banging. It is jamming. And you couldn't ask for a better atmosphere here on day two of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield Finals. Ball played forward from the free kick by Woodbridge. Vaughn able to track it down as it's through the midfield. Yashia tries to flick on. 
Aerial challenge. They can't win it, but Elmar Kabi comes away with it for Vaughn. As it is predominantly Vaughn supporters banging the drums and making the noise, Woodbridge have brought out a strong fan contingency as well here. And now they try cheer on Vecchiarelli, who turns the defender, but then the pass picked away. Nicholson tries to wrestle it back on the back of a defender in Correa Furtado. Nicholson doesn't like that call, but he tries to calm himself down, and he'll retreat back to a defensive position with Vaughn taking the free kick short. Amato looks for a man. Cachera closes that down. The ball knocked out, and it'll be a Vaughn throw in here in the 50th minute of action. So a little more than 10 minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And as is the case with any of the Gary Miller Charity Shield finals, if we end the final whistle tied in any game, we go straight to penalty kicks. But right now with Vaughn leading 2 to nothing. They look firmly in control of this match, despite good pushback from Woodbridge. As Woodbridge now moves the ball up to the attacking side of half. Beccarelli brings it down from the header. Backed in there by Giramonte. Nicholson comes up with it. But Vaughn wrestled it away. As here goes El Marcabi. He's pushed off the ball. And now it's secured by Woodbridge. As some nice dribbling here by De Silva. The defender with offensive flair steps into the plate. Lays the ball ahead for Rotundo, but couldn't quite catch it as there was miscommunication between the defender, De Silva, and Reyna. As now they close it down and retain possession. Ball played to the back line where Kaelin works it over as Kashera made the pass to Nechapora. He was under pressure, took some contact from El Markabi, and then El Markabi gets hauled down. And a foul called against Da Silva. If anyone's got any Advil or Tylenol, I could sure use it right about now. No, I'm kidding. This is a great vibe here. And we're so incredibly... Fortunate to have such incredibly passionate fan bases cheering on their squads here at the Gary Miller Charity Shield. Played out by the keeper, giving away Woodbridge, trying to capitalize now on that miscue as Vecchiarelli tracks it down. Overlap option in Reyna, but Vecchiarelli loses it to the defender. And now Vaughn looking for a quick counter. As Sabatoso plays it ahead, El Marcabi trying to turn the defender inside out. El Marcabi crashes down to turf. Trying to sell the call, but nothing doing. And Woodbridge start to play it ahead. El Markavi staying down for the time being. The Vaughn fans want play stopped. Now it's Correa Furtado who comes away with it. He takes on Rotundo, loses the ball to Nicholson. El Markavi still slow to get up. And now Umanzor commits the foul. And a caution coming here. But who's it going to be to? Is it for Nicholson or, El or Umanzor? I think Nicholson might get the caution here. No, check that. It's going to be Umansor who goes into the book with the yellow card here in the 53rd minute of action. Nicholson had gotten a couple verbal warnings. It would have been an odd one if he had earned the foul but then received a caution for unsporting, so... It's Uman Zor who goes into the book, and now a free kick for Woodbridge in the 53rd minute. And now the Vaughn coaches have received a caution. As it looks like Luca Forno may have been the man on the bench to receive the yellow card. Nechapora plays the free kick short to De Silva. Takes the space in front of him. De Silva lays it off as it's controlled now by Stalteri. Recently back into the match, Stalteri, his pass intercepted. El Markabi across the half line. Takes the space in front of him. Pass ahead. Yashia flicks on. Sabatoso unable to catch that one. 
Vaughn, however, keep it in the attacking side of half. Yashia flicks on with the header, played back to the keeper. Lazmerola had to be careful with that clearance. And now Woodbridge have it with Nicholson. He plays a long ball ahead as Vecchiarelli tries to run onto it. Volley down. Nice touch here as Rotundo lays it out wide. Can they catch it? Shoulder to shoulder challenge, but a foul committed on the attempt by Giramonte. And it's a free kick for Vaughn. Right on the edge of their own penalty area. And the defender down in some discomfort now in the 55th minute. So hopefully nothing serious there for the Vaughn left back who did well to match the speed of Giramonte on the play. As it looks like Justin Amato will be okay to continue on in this match. Nice sight there with Amato. And good sportsmanship shown there between Amato and Giramonte as the two come together, shake hands, and continue on with the match. Giuliani Mirabal gets set to take the free kick. Right foot through the ball across the half line. Headed down by Chalin. As Vaughn try to move it back into the attacking side of half, but immediately closed down, and it's out for a Woodbridge throw. They try take a little too much encroachment there. It's actually a free kick awarded to Woodbridge as the handball, the call on the field. But again, they try to take the free kick from the from a place of encroachment, so it's pulled back to the spot of the foul. Cachera, good right-footed ball towards the penalty area, headed away by Rosenberg, controlled now by Woodbridge. Reyna, Rotundo tries to control, but Thompson there for the defensive clearance, and that's out for a throw-in. From the throw, Woodbridge moved the ball around. Nechaporik uses De Silva. De Silva cuts his way into the middle. De Silva drops it out wide. Chalin cross attempt into the 18 block by Umanpour. Second time Umanpour, excuse me, Uman Zor gets to it again. And this time he clears it up the pitch, or Nechaporik has to track back defensively. Nechaporik makes the pass to De Silva, tight to the touchline, fights off a couple of defenders. He loses his footing in the fray. Nicholson strips it away from El Markavi, who wanted a foul call, but nothing doing. Amato clears that one out. Sandy, are there any donuts left? All right, I know what I'm doing at the quarter break. Woodbridge try to play the ball in, nothing doing that time, as Vaughn picks it up. Big shout out to all the volunteers and staff from Ontario Soccer behind the scenes. Big shout out to our PA announcer, Sandy Slade, doing an amazing job as always. Of course, the staff, the technical crew, our production crew behind the scenes, Francisco, Paul, Ben back in the office, the Robins, Lil Olives, Alex, Lyndon, Bjorn, everybody on hand here. Even Johnny Missley, our CEO, will be showing up today as Woodbridge take the free kick. Threatening into the penalty area, but knocked away by a defensive header. And now Woodbridge track it to the touchline, or Chalin keeps it in play. Looking for an option. The free kick was taken by Nechaporuk. And now he's got the ball back as he marches forward into the attacking side of half. Nechaporuk crosses in. Sabatoso got a touch to it with the head. Missed clearance. Woodbridge show a little bit of hesitation as two players were in the vicinity, but neither charged to the ball. And that allowed Vaughn to clear it out for a throw-in. De Silva. Flicked on by Vecchiarelli, but they can't hold possession. Nicholson tries to play it back up to the attacker, who puts a little bit of push in the back. Nicholson charging in with the aerial challenge. He heads it on here as the ball just getting volleyed around. Reyna brings it down as he controls now with... Intent as he drops back for De Silva. De Silva crosses to the back post. And Mirabali, uh, excuse me, Giuliani Mirabal makes the save there for Vaughn. He had to track that carefully as the ball just kind of hung up there for 
an extra moment, but he had the angle covered. And now the Vaughn Keeper drop kicks it out. It actually hit one of the lights above, so that'll be whistled down. And we'll restart the play with an uncontested drop ball to the Vaughn Keeper to restart possession. Chased by Vecchiarelli, so it's picked up by Giuliani Mirabal. That's now Thompson clears the half with the kick, headed back in by De Silva. Trying to flick on, but nothing doing now. Rotundo had it only for a moment before Sabatoso picks it up. Approaching the final minutes here in the third quarter, as Woodbridge desperately trying to claw one back. We had one goal scored in the quarter in the opening 90 seconds, and it was Tavon as Sabatoso buried it off a corner kick, and that was good enough to double their lead to 2 to nothing. Nicholson through the midfield, lays it back. Jalen, his ball picked off by Vaughn, and now it's Sabatoso laying it through the center circle. Correa for Tato. He's got room to carry this forward. Makes the pass. El Markavi shields it from the defenders. Correa for Tato. He's got support, but he decides to take on two defenders, and he not makes the first, but loses it to the second in Reina. And now here go Woodbridge. Giramonte tries to get around the defender, but beautiful side tackle there by Luciani to knock it away. Actually, check that. It was Justin Amato who came up to make that tackle. As we await the third quarter whistle. But here go Woodbridge on the attack. Just cleared as they approach the 18. Controlled now by Chalen. Touches out wide. The drumming stops for a brief moment here. As Nicholson plays into the 18, but dealt with by Thompson defensively. And now here goes Umanzor. And almost on cue, the drums pick up again. Yasha can't get around the defender. Nichapora comes away with it, and he's got room to carry this ahead. Nichapora trying to pick out Rotundo. His attempt blocked, and Vaughn will clear that out for a throw-in. And this could very well be the last sequence of the third quarter now. So let's see what Woodbridge can do with this throw-in inside the attacking third. They draw back. Nechaporik looking for an option into the box. Supply service flicked on by a boot as the defender tried to drop down to make the play. And now Umanzor clears the danger. And he brings it across the half line, trying to spark a counterattack. Umanzor carrying it forward. Makes the pass intended for El Markavi, but that's broken up. Referee checks his watch one more time. As Yashia comes back to receive the ball, runs out of space, and a throw in awarded now for Vaughn. Thompson tosses in. Battling forward once again out for a Vaughn throw. This time the whistle sounds, and after three quarters, it's Vaughn to Woodbridge nothing. As you're tuned into the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Two teams, two nets, that ball, and a love of everything between the lines. But the game is more. The game is you giving every last breath to finish the sprint. The game is that last ounce of strength that pours out of you as you stretch to save your team. The game is questioning yourself over and over again until you find a way forward. Your personal best today is your challenge for tomorrow. Giving everything now is only knowing how much further you can go. The laces we tighten are the ones that bind us together. Entering the huddle as a player and leaving as a team. Play because you love it. Inspire because it's in you. Unite, because it's in us. Ontario Soccer. We're here today at the uh, community check-in with our partners from SportCheck and Respect in Sport. We're having a great time with uh, 35 kids from our community. 
I'm just here to help out with the kids today while they were playing soccer during their boot camp and learning about everything they were learning about. A core value in sport, which is respect. Understanding respect with players that you're playing against, with your teammates, with your coaches, with the refs, and with the audience is extremely important. Our part in it is the Respect in Sport program for parents. The Respect in Sport Parent Program, it's a 60-minute program, costs 12 bucks, it's completed online, and it just brings you onto the same page about these issues so that you can contribute to a positive and safe experience for your kids and for the rest of the people alongside you. Parents should attend the Respectful Play because they're involved in the games too. It's, it's a big part of the game and we need to respect everybody, especially the referees and everybody on the field. If you take the courses, you start to understand that your words have an impact on the players especially. I think all of these community events are just phenomenal opportunities for the children to become a little more acquainted with the true values that they need to have. And as a parent, I've also learned how to be more respectful with regards to other parents on the sidelines, referees, and as well as coaches. Well, my favorite part of today, it was meeting Dwayne. Dwayne, of course, is a legend of the Canadian game. Uh, and he had some uh, great wisdom to uh, impart on the uh, young players. Respect in sport is important because it teaches a lot of aspects of respect. Respect of time, respect of teammates, respect of community, respect for yourself, and respect for your surroundings. And I think sport is a great vehicle to teach respect at all, all aspects, all levels, and no one's ever too old to learn about respect. Respect in sport means sportsmanship, and even when a dirty play or anything gets you down, you can get back up and then just treat the other players like, like nothing happened, basically. Uh, respect means to me is uh, always being nice to people and treat people the way you want to be treated. Respect in sport, Sport Check and Ontario Soccer did a phenomenal job today um, at bringing all of the players and parents um, together to understand a little bit better. You know, if you hit a player down, you come, you pick him back. All right, soccer fans, welcome back inside the Ontario Soccer Centre Club Stadium. No, wait, it's the Fieldhouse Stadium, but we've got a full percussion section down below us as they cheer on the boys under 14 final at the Gary Miller Charity Shield 2022. And before we get this fourth quarter kicked off, Ontario Soccer is pleased to welcome SportCheck, Canada's largest sports retailer, as its official sporting goods retail partner. Both partners share the goal of inspiring Ontarians to live healthy, active lifestyles by making sport and activity more fun, approachable, and inclusive. With a vast assortment of apparel and equipment and the very best athletic brands in the world, SportCheck strives to help athletes and enthusiasts of all levels succeed. Find what moves you at sportcheck.ca. Well, I tell you, if this music doesn't move you, nothing will. And the teams on the pitch are moving and shaking as it's Bond leading two to nothing here as we begin the third, fourth quarter. And we got a bit of a scrum now down below us as El Markabi took a knock at the end of that play. And he's face down on the turf. But it looks like he'll be okay to continue on here. El Markabi opened the scoring 30 seconds into this match. 90 seconds into the second half, Vaughn doubled their lead. And that's all the scoring we've had so far. It's 2-0. <laughs> From the free kick, Vaughn played to the far touchline where Sankar runs after it. Sankar tripped up by the defender there. As Bruni commits the foul and a free kick here for Vaughn. Well, it's a tough task ahead now for Woodbridge, but if they have any thoughts of mounting a comeback down by two, they've got to stay disciplined. They can't afford to take ticky tock fouls and give up free kicks inside the attacking third. Bit of pushing and shoving. Ball delivered in from the cross. Merola comes off his line, scoops it up, 
After an initial bobble, Justin Marola secured it. And now the Woodbridge keeper with the drop kick has it crush into the rafters above. So we'll restart with a drop ball here to the Woodbridge keeper. He'll try it again, kicks it out, gives it away. Umanzor takes it. El Markami draws to his left foot. Loses it to the defender, but Yashia backs him up. And then a hard tackle by Nicholson knocks the ball loose. Kawashi, nice job to step around the first man. Kawashi supplies the outlet option after laying it off. Controlled here by Reyna. Kawashi, Woodbridge can't hold possession. As El Markabi plays a good ball ahead for Yashia to run onto. Yashia taking on Nechaporik. The defender goes shoulder to shoulder. Beautiful side tackle as Nechaporek knocks it out for the corner kick. He thought he had won a goal kick trying to ricochet it off of Yasha, but nothing new in that time. And a corner kick to come here for Vaughn. As they'll slow things down inside the final 20 minutes of match play. We've got two more games on the docket today after this one. Up next, it's the girls under 15 final. And then we wrap up the day at 3 p.m. Eastern with the boys under 17 final. As the corner kick delivered into the top of the 18, Umansur tries the volley, second attempt, ricochets away, and Woodbridge get a clearance out to the half. El Markavi loses it to Reyna that time. However, it's off of Reyna and out for Avon throw in. Banga takes the throw. A lot of contact and a foul called there on the back of Yashia. As Bruni doesn't like the call. I checked that that was De Silva who committed the foul. He protests. And now a yellow card's going to come out here for Nechaporek. Al Markavi getting a bit of a warning as well. As a huge crowd here for this morning's opening match at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield on day two of the weekend proceedings. Game number four of six this weekend. Vaughn already up 2 nothing, and now they'll have a free kick as El Markavi and Yasha discuss what to do from this set piece. Now Markavi starts to walk away. They play it short to him. And they'll keep it towards the corner. Yashia supplies the outlet. Crosses in. Appeals for him. A penalty kick over it. Yashia drilled it off the head. The defender, Kwashi, unable to react in time. And now the Trump's really beating with Vaughn having a chance to go up 3 nothing. On this penalty kick opportunity, El Markavi urges the crowd to get loud. As the striker, Elon Yasha, stands at the penalty spot. Well, Morol has made some big saves here today. And if he makes this save at this juncture in this match, it would be his biggest save yet, but an opportunity now for Vaughn to ice this. With just 15 minutes of match play remaining, Yasha at the spot delivers and comforts. Yeah, the Sina scores, and it's 3 nothing Vaughn. Listen to this crowd. Yasha from the penalty spot in the 66th minute. And it's 3 nothing Vaughn. They'll receive a caution for ripping off the jersey. 
but I'm sure he doesn't mind the collateral damage knowing that he's put his team up by three with less than 15 minutes of match time remaining. Elon Yasha converts from the spot. Three different goal scores for Vaughn. And they lead 3-0 here at the boys' under-14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. Referee having a discussion with the fourth official in regards to a bench issue with Vaughn. And keep in mind, one of their coaches already on a caution. And in the end, it looks like cooler heads will prevail and play will continue on. From the kickoff, Sabatoso gets it right back for Vaughn. Yasha trying to charge forward. Da Silva evades the tackle from El Markavi. Well, it's been a tough day right from the get-go for Woodbridge. You have to think they were a bit shell-shocked, conceding after the opening kickoff just 30 seconds into the match. When El Markavi struck and Vaughn have led from start to finish here as El Markavi, who opened the scoring 30 seconds in, now battles for possession. De Silva shields it out and it'll be a Woodbridge throw. Contesting for the ball and getting the header to it was Banga. Ricochets around as Sabatoso plays it out wide. El Markavi keeps it in play. It's off of Nechapora, can out for a throw in. 69th minute, Vaughn lead 3 to nothing over Woodbridge. Here at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield, boys under 14 final. Vaughn try to keep it in the corner, now cleared away as it's off of Yasha and out for a goal kick. The crowd filling all around the venue. They're packed in here shoulder to shoulder. We got to be close to maybe a thousand fans in the building now. By far the biggest crowd we've had this weekend at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. And keep in mind, everyone paying a $5 entrance fee, all funds going to Ontario-based charities as selected by the winning teams of each division. So full credit to this boys under 14 division for bringing them out here this morning and packing the house. El Markavi, he's got room to run this into the penalty area. Brings it ahead to his right foot, shot right on, big save. As Marola deflects it out for the corner kick. Has him El Markavi already has one in the match. Nearly picked up a second there, if not for a great save by Marola. And now Vaughn are going to make a substitution here. With Sankar coming out of the match. And it looks like Woodbridge might try to capitalize on a change here as well. As Woodbridge will look to make a double substitution when they can. And now they pull a couple of players off to accommodate the change. Looks like it was Bianchi brought in for Vaughn. As Woodbridge bring on a couple of players here in the 71st minute. And a chance for us to remind you that today's OPDL Charity Shield action is fueled by Gatorade, the official sports fuel of the OPDL. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel after the match. From the corner kick, Vaughn swing one in. But nothing doing. Ball with a partial clearance as Yashio was tracking back from an offside position. But Nechaporuk there for the interception. Across half, Reyna brings it up for Woodridge. Leaves it for Rotundo. Reyna. Ball poked away, controlled now as Quashi 
tries an attempt from distance and an easy save there for Giuliani Mirabal. And think back to the opening half when Giuliani Mirabal made a couple of clutch saves with the match 1-0 at the time. Woodbridge were pressing and came very close at times to equalizing. And now they'll try drawing into the penalty area, but on the wrong side of Orbiel McQueen. And the Vaughn keeper will now scoop it up. And even though he's been not as busy as Merola, some big saves throughout this match at crucial times from Giuliani Mirabal to help backstop Vaughn to a clean sheet right now. Sabatoso's ball intercepted. Now Markabi crashes in. Flashy can't get around Sabatoso. Headed down by Thompson. Reyna picks it up for Woodbridge. Lays it off as Giremonte. Check that. That was Stalteri making the pass. Ball ricochets to Stalteri. There's a volley attempt, but couldn't quite get over top of it in La Vila, and it's out for a goal kick. Letting you enjoy the vibes here at the Ontario Soccer Center Stadium. As inside the field house, it's a live vibe. And it's a free kick awarded here for Vaughn. About five yards off the edge of the penalty area. On the far corner. Yashia stands over top of the ball. He's already got one in this match. After converting from the penalty spot. Here in the second half. Steps into a right-footed attempt right on. One bounce in the save control by Marola. Thompson misplays the clearance, but he's backed up by Rosenberg. And now Vaughn quickly hammer it forward again. Elmar Kabi tries to flick on, but Nechaporek there for the defensive stop. Or Biel McQueen tries to flick to himself. Rosenberg has to go back to his keeper, and it's cleared out by Giuliani Mirabal. Yashia commits the foul through the center circle. Free kick coming now for Woodbridge. Labile plays it forward. Orbiel McQueen heads on. Stalteri tries to volley it, but wrestled away by Rosenberg. And now... Headed that time by Uman Sor. Woodbridge quickly able to retain possession. Lavile dribbled around a couple defenders. Nicholson chips forward. Running onto it is Chiremonte, but he couldn't get to it. And knocked out, out off Yashia for a Woodbridge throw. Double substitution coming here for Vaughn. As Luciani will check back into this match. As two attackers pulled out. Two defenders brought on. Karkulitian, the other player for Vaughn coming into this game. Woodbridge from the throw. Nothing new and knocked out. Once again, Devon. Looking for possession through the midfield. The newly brought in. Karkultian plays it forward. Kashera there for Woodbridge and he knocks that out of touch. Well, soon another deserving team will engrave their name into OPDL history and hoist the beautiful Gary Miller Charity Shield Trophy, tastefully updated by Nothers, the award store. For more than 50 years, Nothers, the award store, has been a leading supplier of awards and recognition products across Ontario, offering complete assistance from program concept planning all the way to product delivery. 
See how they can help your organization at nothers.com. Full credit to both these squads, but it has been Bond's day. They led from the opening 30 seconds of the match with that man, El Markabi, opening the scoring, and he nearly bookends it, but a good save there by Marola. They would add two more throughout the course of the match. One from the penalty spot, one off a corner kick. Three different goal scorers. And Vaughn are just minutes away from hoisting the boys under 14 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield Trophy. Giuliani Mirabal with the drop kick. Nicholson heads in for Woodbridge. Controlled by Carrera Hurtado as he knocks it forward. Woodbridge desperately tried to play it forward as Quashi supplied the ball. Salteri loses it through the midfield as Umanzor came away with it. Cachera touches forward. Nicholson can't corral it against Carrera. Hurtado puts a push in his back. But Vaughn bring it towards the penalty area. As strong to his right foot is Bianchi. Takes it down to the goal line before losing into Nechaporic. Reyna stepped into as Correa for Tato with the shot. But that one straight to the keeper and an easy save for Merola. Morbial McQueen loses it to Thompson. Nechaporic steps to take control for Woodbridge. Brought down by Reyna. Played ahead, Rotundo. He has a man on his back. Orbial McQueen into the penalty area. Tries to draw to his right foot. Centers in front. There's a shot. Oh, it's been that kind of day for Woodbridge. They hit two posts. And on that third chance, it went wide by inches. As stepping into the attempt was Dante Labile. And that really sums up today for Woodbridge. They've been oh so close, but at the same time, oh so far away. As Vaughn take this towards the final whistle, we are into the 80th minute of play. Giuliani Mirabal marches the troops forward. Through the half. Referee thought about calling the foul. Advantage played on. And now Woodbridge take control. Reyna has it poked off his foot. Out for a throw in. Nechapora trying to hustle the troops forward. As they try break the clean sheet of Giuliani Mirabal. Nechapora looks for an option into the penalty area. That'll be headed away by a defender. Nicholson. Tries to retain possession. Labile can't corral it. Cleared out through the half. Four minute minimum of added time will be tacked on here to this match. So it would take a miracle now down by three. But Woodbridge do have a little bit of time left here. They've got to hustle. They've got to throw everything at the net now. Balling away by Labile, it'll go for a Vaughn throw in. Kashera steps up and that ball gets caught in the netting above. Well, we've now officially had everything here this weekend. I don't think we've got a pole long enough to knock that one out, so. That'll stay up there until they drop the drapes at the end of today's proceedings. We restart the action. A foul throw here. The play continues on as Woodbridge now in possession. Reyna chips forward. Knocked down. Orbiel McQueen tries to settle down the bouncing ball. Ricochets over to Labile. Tries to make the pass back to Orbiel McQueen, but with three defenders on him. The ball stripped away, and now Umanzor takes it. Omar Kabi, nice back heel. Umanzor, heavy first touch. 
that Shapora goes back to his keeper, Merola, who gets clamored into as crashing into the keeper there was Robert Bianchi. He flew through the air and made square contact with the keeper. And hopefully nothing serious there for Merola. As he looked like an NFL quarterback getting hit on that play. Bianchi flying in late for the contact. Well, make sure you stay tuned. Up next at 12 p.m. Eastern, yellow card show now to Bianchi for the foul. But up next at noon Eastern, we'll have the girls under 15 final at the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. And we wrap up today's proceedings and the weekend long event with the boys under 17 final at 3 p.m. today. Shot from distance. That one never threatens out for a goal kick. There can't be too much time left in the minimum added four minutes required here. As Vaughn looked to take this down to the final whistle. Giuliani Mirabal. Stalteri knocks down the kick. Loose ball. Or Bial McQueen couldn't corral. Umanzor stripped away by Nicholson. He charges forward. Rotundo, good chip ahead for Nicholson. Beats the keeper. He's brought down. And a penalty kick for Woodbridge. An added time. Late dramatics here in this boys under 14 final. As the captain for Woodbridge, Nicholson, brought down in the area. And Joshua Nicholson earns a penalty kick here for the Woodbridge strikers. No caution shown on the play yet. As the keeper, Giuliani Mirabal, took the man down. And it looks like there won't be a card shown. As Stalteri steps up to the spot to take the kick. Leandro Stalteri from the penalty spot. He drills it. Woodbridge break the clean sheet. And it's 3-1 to one here in extra time of the boys under 14 final of the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield. So, will this spark new life for Woodbridge or will this be a case of too little too late? They've got to show real urgency here after this kickoff. There can't be much time left at all. Referee puts the whistle to his mouth. And that does it. The fine whistle sounds. And Vaughn are your 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield champions in the under-14 boys division. Congratulations to both teams. And congratulations to the winners, Vaughn. Today's OPDL Gary Miller Charity Shield action was fueled by Gatorade the official sports fuel of OPDL. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel after the match. Thank you again to our proud partners for today's event, our premier partners, Toronto FC and the Canadian Premier League, our program partners, Gatorade, as well as Respect in Sport, Sport Check, Soccer X, Nothers, the award store, and of course, our sport partners, Canada Soccer. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We're back at 12 noon for the girls under 15 final of you as you've been tuned in to the 2022 Gary Miller Charity Shield.